Here is an interesting story for you to practice your critical thinking skills in English. I'm going to tell you a story and then afterwards I'm going to ask you a few questions and something strange may happen. Three friends, Mick, Alan and Stephen, decided to move in together because they got on so well. They found a luxury penthouse apartment in the city center and decided to go for it. The first item they decided to get for their new home was a TV. Since they had already spent most of their money on the deposit and rent, they could only afford 30 euros as they only wanted to spend 10 euros each. They went to the electronic shop in the hope of finding a TV that was within their budget. Alan and Stephen each handed their 10 euros to Mick. Mick then added his 10 euros and handed the full 30 euros to the salesman. The boys then left the shop delighted with their new TV. After a couple of minutes, the salesman ran out of the shop and called to them. There had been a mistake. The TV was on sale that week for only 25 euros. He had to return 5 euros to the three housemates. He had noticed how they had paid 10 euros each. So he handed them each a 1 euro coin. Then, while looking at the two remaining euro coins in his hand, he said, I'm not sure how I can divide these two coins between the three of you. Mick laughed and said, never mind, keep them for yourself. Mick, Alan and Stephen then walked back to their new home, satisfied with their achievement. The end. Now, let's discuss something interesting. That wasn't much of a story, I hear you say. Well, actually, it's quite interesting. Because while you were reading, something magic happened. I put you into a trance. And I made one of the coins disappear. Perhaps you think that would be impossible. Well, let me ask you a few questions. How much did the three friends pay for the TV in the shop? 30 euros, right? Now, how much money is left at the end of the story? The salesman gave back one euro to each man. So, Effectively, they each paid 9 euros. What is 9 multiplied by 3? 27. And how much did the salesman keep? 2. So, what is 27 plus where is the missing dollar?